So, addition and subtraction in modulus. Now, before we begin to calculate anything, you have to know that there are two styles when calculating modulus. So, in calculating modulus, you can use one where you just divide. For example, if we have 5 plus 2, let's say we're solving in mod mod 4. Now, the one method you can use to solve is to just go ahead and add. So 5 plus 2 is 7. And then we follow that with dividing by the mod, which is 4. So that will be 7 divided by 4, which will be equal to 1 remainder 3. So from our definition of modulus and moduli, we know that 3 will be the answer. So what we'll have is 5 plus 2. Sorry. So what we'll have is 5 plus 2 will be equal to 3 in mod 4. Now another method to solve this is solving in relation to the particular number. Now you understand this soon. So let's say 5 plus 2 still in mod 4 so we'll still go ahead and add 5 plus 2 which is equal to 7 but now here we're not going to divide 7 by 4 so this is why I'm just going to leave this on the side and use to check if our answer will be correct so what we do next is express I'm going to express this 7 in a way that includes mod 4. So, what do we have? Let's say 2 times 4 is 8, so that won't work. Two, so, we'll go with 1 times 4. So, 1 times 4 is 4. And what are we going to add to this 4 to make it 7? That will be plus 3. So now from this, we know that this will be a remainder. So this is the other method you can use to solve in mod. Now this method comes in handy when you're dealing mostly with negative numbers. But if you're not dealing with negative numbers, you don't necessarily have to use this number. So let's have another example. If we have, if we have 4 plus... 2 let's say in mod in mod 3 so we'll have 4 plus 2 which will be equal to 6 now we're not going to go straight with the other with the first style of solving so we're going to solve we're going to express this with this so we can say 2 times 3 to give us 6. So 2. Remember, express this in a way that involves this. So we're going to express this in a way that involves this mod. So if this was mod 4, it would have been to express it in a way that includes mod 4 if it was in mod 5. So just express it in a way that includes the mod. So since 2 times... 3 is equal to 6 and we have 6 which is perfect so we go with 2 sorry so we'll go with 2 we go with 2 times 3 and then what are we going to add to this to this multiplication to make it equal to 6 so since it's already complete we'll have 0 so now we know that this zero will be the answer. Now let's check with the other style of solving to see if this is really correct. So we have six. So now what we simply do is say six divided by three. Now what do we have? We have two remainder zero. So we can see from here that this is actually correct. 
So now that we have learned these two styles of solving, let's go ahead and solve some general examples in, in addition and subtraction of moduli. Now, from the previous examples that I've given, you will note that the signs for modulus is not really, not really differ from the regular addition and subtraction sign. The only difference is we just add those signs in a circle. So plus will be this and then minus will be this, that is subtraction. So now that we are clear, let's go ahead and solve. So we'll be solving for ad addition first. So we're starting with addition. Now, addition is just a basic calculation, so there's nothing really hard about solving addition. So we're just going to give you, I'm just going to give you very simple examples because I don't think it can get any more difficult because it's addition. So we're going to start with 2 plus 5. We're going to do all of this in mod 5. Now, bear in mind you can you can solve, you can be given any mode to solve at any time, mode 2, mode 3, mode 4, mode 5, mode 6. But what you should always remember is just to make this mod the divisor or express it in terms of, in a way that this mod is included, that is the given mode is included. So we have 2 plus 5 in mode 5 for B. We have, let's say, 4 plus 6 in mode 5 and then let's go with C we have uh, 7 plus 9 all of these in mode 5 so let's go ahead and solve now you can always go ahead with me and solve and check if your answers are correct so for the first one we have A so we have 2 plus which will be equal to 2 plus 5 equal to 7. Now, we're just going to use the regular, the first regular kind of solving, not expressing in any terms. So we're going to have 7 divided by mod 5. So that will be equal to 1 remainder 2. So our answer will be for this, our answer will be equal to 2 in mode 5. Now, it's always important to add your answers in mode 5 so that we know what particular mode you're asked to solve and so we can check if the answers are actually correct. At this way, you're completely sure that you have gotten the answers right. So you don't want to take any chances by just writing 2 unless maybe the options don't have any mod and they just ask you for the answers. But if you are to write these answers by yourself, it's advisable to write it with the mod by the side. So for B, we have 4 plus 6. So this will be equal to 4 plus 6, which is equal to 10. So we're going to go ahead and divide by the mod. So it will be 10 divided by 5 to give us 2 remainder 0. Now, don't be afraid if you have an, if you have 0 as your answer. 0 is also a remainder. So if you, answer, if you have 0 as a remainder, don't feel that your answer is wrong. Just put it down. So we have 0 in mod 5. So for our next one, we have 7 plus 9. So for C, 7 plus 9. So that would be 7 plus 9, which is equal to 16. So 16 divided by 5 to give us 3, remainder 1. Now that that means that this would be equal to 1 in mod 5. So you can try solving other examples under addition in modulus. And if you have any problems, you can 
ask for assistance or you can comment where you have problems so i can help you clarify if you're watching on youtube but if you're watching on if you're watching it on LearnTube, just simply ask a question and i'll be sure to answer you now if you want to check if these are actually correct so let's say we want to check if you're asked to specifically use the expression method to solve so we have 16 so we want to express 16 in way in a way that includes mod 5 so let's see what we have so 16 so if we have 5 times 3 or 3 times 5 so mod 5 will be will then be included so it will be 5 sorry let's start with the number that is not the mod so we have 3 times 5 this is 15 so what we will add to this 15 to make it to make it equal to the number that we are trying to express so that we're going to add 1 so from this you can see that 1 we have 1 and we have 1 so for this one we have 7 so we want to express 7 in terms of 5 so if we say 2 times 5 it's 10 so we're just going to use 1 1 times 5 so this is the mod and then what do we add to this to make it equal to 7 so we can add 2 so you can see 2 and 2 and so for this one we have 10 so express 10 in a way that includes mod 5 we can say 2 times 5 there the 5 is included and then what do we add to this to make it equal to the number we're trying to express so we add 0 so you can see that any star you decide to use is is correct you just need to know your multiplication very well for the other for the other kind so one is is where we use multiplication and addition and then one is where we use division so next we're going to try and solve for subtraction so for subtraction now when you have negative answers, always remember to solve them using the expression method. That way you don't you don't make too much too many mistakes. So we're going to give examples that will include the ones that will give us a negative answer and one that will give us positive answer. So we're starting with let's go with our usual a. So we have two minus five. So we're still solving in mode five. Everything we are solving is in mode 5. So 2 minus 5. And uh, for B, we have 1 minus 2. And then we have 7 minus 3. So for the first one, we have... 2 minus 5 so 2 minus 5 will be equal to 2 minus 5 which is equal to negative 3 now we want to express negative 3 in a way that includes mod 5 so because all we have here is just a simple negative number just single digits we're just simply going to multiply it with negative 1 so we have So we have it will be equal to minus 1 or negative 1 times the mod that we have. So now what do we add to this to make it equal to negative 3? So we can add 2 because we know minus 5 plus 2 will give us negative 3. So that means that this will be equal to 2. So 2 minus 5 will be equal to two since this is in mod five now what you what you should notice is this you cannot get a negative answer in mod so it doesn't matter if you are dealing with negative or positive what you definitely will get is positive now this is because if you recall when we talked about residues we didn't have any negative any negative number so we know that the range that we can get is only what is included in the residues of said mod so remember we said for mod 5 we could only have 0 
one, two, three, and four. So no matter what you calculate, your answers have to be in this range of numbers. Now the next we're going to solve is one minus two. Now from what we have solved, I'm sure you're already getting a hang of it. So you can always go ahead and solve before me. So for B, we have one minus two. Now that will be equal to one minus two. So it is equal to minus one. Now, since it's still a single single digit number, we're just going to go ahead and multiply one by multiply negative one by the mod we're giving. So mine so negative one multiplied by five. Now what do we add to this number to give us this number? So we have four. You can see we we have four, so it will be equal to four. So our answer here is four. That means what we have is one minus two is equal to four in mod five. Recall I said you cannot get a negative number. So don't be scared if you have a negative number. So now let's solve for the last one. That is seven minus three. So for C, we have seven minus three. So this is a regular solving. So we have seven minus three, which is equal to four. So, sorry, let's, let's go and, so we have seven minus three, which is equal to four. So four, you can either express or you can just go ahead and divide. So if we divide four by five, we'll have zero remainder four. Now just remember a side note. Anytime you have anytime you have something that cannot divide, automatically it becomes zero. Now why why do we say it cannot divide? Even though we know that if we use our calculator and say four divided by five going to get something zero point something 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 but remember that in the range of numbers we only have zero one two three and from our definition we said whole number integers so we cannot use fractions and that automatically means zero so from this we can say zero and since nothing divided this four it's going to still remain four now if we want to check, so this will be equal to 4 in mod 5. So 